Hello and welcome to another Racing Llama video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to show you the process I went through when I recently made some custom paints and eye racing. Now this isn't going to be a tutorial about how to do that. There's plenty of videos of great quality out there. I referenced some of them myself and if I remembered the links I would have thrown them in the description for you but just give it a quick YouTube search and you can definitely find something that'll give you the how to. So I started off with the Legends car here. I just went through the pre-populated templates. Wasn't going to do anything too crazy. Just take something that iRacing already provides you, change up the colors to suit my needs, and add some of my own logos. So I just scrolled through the options, found one I liked, popped that open in the editor there. And now we can start adding our artwork. I threw in the Racing Llama logo in the back so when people come up to lap me, they know exactly whose car it is. Got that centered. I think that looks pretty good there. Uh, now I'm just trying to figure out on the template what the pieces actually are. How we want to do it. Add some more branding. Everyone's got to know what the car is, right? Add our slogan in the back there just so people can read it when they go by. So when I started with this idea, I really liked the idea of having the llama on the back of the car so people could see it there. So just trying to center it on that fender and then flip that image over and put it on both sides. I thought that'd be a fun look. It's the first time I ever used a photo editor like this, so getting used to the how. I'm sure people are shaking their heads saying, what is this clown doing? Uh, but. I was pretty happy with the results, so I guess I figured it out a little. And I gotta add a little branding there so people know to look it up on YouTube. I doubt it'll work, but hey, we can hope. So I got rid of that wire, saved it up, brought it into iRacing, and looking pretty decent if you ask me. Not too busy, pretty simple, classic look. Got some much better number on there, change the color of the rims, and the car's looking pretty sharp. Now I move over to the dirt modified. A lot of the same process, trying to find a pre-populated paint scheme that isn't too busy and sort of fits with my personal style. Now we're going in, going back into the editor, just coloring the different layers, making sure it looks right. Changed my mind, went for the more orange look. I think that'll look pretty good. So you add some different layers so you can tell where the numbers go. Now we're just situating our llama in the back quarter panel there. Again, this is very new to this photo editing game, so if you're questioning what I'm, why I'm doing what I'm doing, it's because I don't know any better. Now, this is where I learned that this car has different dimensions on both sides. It really threw me off for a second, but once you actually see the car on the road, that really makes sense. Just trying to get the llama head exactly the same size and realized it wasn't the computer, it was the car that's 
got different proportions. Uh, so just keeping that branding consistent and simple. I already had these image files created, it's just a matter of getting them opened, oriented the right way, pasting them in on the right layer. So we got our dual llamas on the front, some more branding on the on the hood. Looking pretty good. And if you weren't sure where to find the racing llama, there you go. You can go on YouTube. Just adding a slogan. Remove that wire and all those markings. If you don't remove those wires and you upload it into your iRacing folder there, you'll actually end up with the wires on your car. Learn that the hard way. Ended up looking pretty good. Taking our Legends car for a spin on the track. I think that's looking really nice in the real world. Here's a little slideshow of the finished products out in the wild. I also did a dirt street stock here. Uh, let me know which one's your favorite in the comments below. Love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Until next time.